What's up YouTube? Got some new stuff in for the Beamer. I have to do a clean up of those big mirrors up there. And also, um, you see over here, we still got the uh, reflector on the front fender. Wanna remove that. And also get a uh, screen protector. So let's get these parts installed. Okay, what we have here. Only barring mirrors from Moto Gadget. What's the name of them? It's the uh, Ultra Cut Metal Mirror. This is like made out of metal, like machine metal, the actual uh, reflector part, the actual mirror part. But yeah, this is this. I'm gonna unbox it real quick. There's a different uh, style of barns you can get, or just mirrors, period. There. These are uh, universal fit. They're not specific to the uh, BMW. Uh, to the side, so we have the uh, mirror here. And we have some, uh, some instructions. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing right here. Um, they sell like an after, like an aftermark, but they sell an actual uh, Moto Gadget. Um, bar in that goes into holds the bar in there in, um, but I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the stock parts because I want to keep my bar and weight on there. So, okay, here's the mirror. See, it's pretty light. Now, I already took the liberty of uh, removing the uh, one of the stock mirrors. And look at the size difference of these things. Yeah, these things are huge, and not only are they big, they vibrate whenever I'm riding. I mean, whenever I'm riding, they vibrate. I can't see anything behind me, so they're pretty much useless. So, I mean, when I'm, when I'm sitting on a bike and they're not rattling, they're actually give it, provide a, a good view. But, I don't know. So, that's all with these. Uh, very lightweight. And actually look pretty cool. So I'll show you guys how, how to install those. It's pretty simple. I'm using the stock hardware. And I also ordered this from Amazon. It's a um, gauge cluster cover. Let's see, I can't remember if I used the uh, matte one. I can't remember which one I ordered. I don't remember if it's gloss. Oh, I guess we'll find out when I put it on. But for my Ducati, I got the uh, matte one, which I actually like a lot. So like no reflections or nothing on it. So I'll install that too on there. And then also gonna remove these off the bike, these reflectors. As you see, I got the other side off. So I'm just show you guys how to how I took it off. Um it's they're pretty easy. You literally just you just pull them off with your hand, but I'll show you guys. And you give me some uh, rest up with your hand. Yeah, it's like I was saying before I take this off, when I'm riding it, it's, it's just, the actual mirror is part actually shakes. Okay, the whole piece comes off. I'll take this over here. Use this part. Then we need to loosen this part up down here. Then we need to loosen this up down here. Because we need the uh, weight, the bar and weight. Okay, get that out. As you see here, there's like a little metal bar here. There's a hole on a bar in for that, so we'll hook that up in one second. Let's go. There's a little hole, if you guys can see it, it focuses, it's right there. So you want to match. This up with that. Let me put it back in. So I'm gonna install this real quick and we'll go. Okay, guys, so you just wanna hand tighten. You don't want it too tight, you want it from breaking. So, get that. And remove that. There we go.
That's looking a lot better. Way better in my opinion. Can't wait to take those on a ride, make sure, see if they don't vibrate like the uh, stock mirrors did. But yeah, look at that. What does it say here? Made in Germany. It's the uh, Ultra Cut. Oh yeah, look pretty cool. All right, so next, uh, take this thing off. I recommend to use some heat to heat it up to get this off, but I got the other one off just pulling it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Got this little plastic pool thing so I don't scratch the carbon fiber. It's off. Like I said, it's probably best to use some heat to get this off, but I'll clean this up and then um, show you guys the outcome. But for now, let's move on to the um, gauge cluster protector. All right, let's go. All right, like I said, I got this from Amazon and I got the uh, bar mirrors from Revzilla. But um, yeah, so it's pretty cool. It comes with three of them just in case you mess up. But uh, here's the directions right here. But here's the directions I want to follow. I'm clean it off. Small amount of water solution. Mm -hmm. I think I have some laying around the garage. Like that. The thing was bubbles. I had some bubbles in my street fried one for a little bit, and then once um, once the bike got up to temperature outside, it they they fade away. You can always fix them after. But yeah, so that's the directions right here. So if you wanna pause the screen, there you go. And I'll show you guys the uh, outcome for right now. This is what it looks like now. I think I have the key on me. Yep, I got the key on me. So this is what it looks like now. See a little dusty fingerprints. So we'll clean this up and then um, we'll install this. All right. Before I go into installing it, I'm gonna show you guys what it comes with. It comes with this little bag. I'll rip this open real quick and show you what's inside. Uh, it comes with a little card. I think my first one didn't come with all this. It comes with a little card to scratch it so I get the bubbles out. What does it say? Dust absorber. Hmm, that's cool. Right here. Let's remove the dust. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wipe it off and uh, install it and I'll show you the uh, outcome. Hey guys. Okay, guys, as you see. Got it on. There's a few bubbles in there. I don't know if you guys picked that up, but yeah. They'll um, go away as the bike heats up and everything like that. Get the bike in the sun. Got the mirrors on. Sir. We get the protector off. So we're all good to go. Let's go on a ride. What's up, YouTube? So I'm out here testing out mirrors to see if they uh, shake. As bad as the stock ones did. I'd imagine I'm still gonna get some type of shake because I believe it's the handlebars and then also something with the front suspension. I don't know. But I at least want to be able to see something behind me. So we'll get up to highway speeds and we'll see what's uh see how they perform. Well, at 50 miles an hour they don't the left one doesn't vibrate at all. The right one is shaking and vibrating. I can still see a little bit, but it's kind of, it's, it's bad, I can't see. So that's a good, that's already a test. Made me see if I shift up. Yeah. I guess if the bike's in a higher R RPM range, it doesn't shake as bad. All right, let's see. No shake from the left. I feel the handlebars uh, vibrating. Vibrating pretty bad, actually. It's not because of the wind either. It's just the handlebars. This is how they are. Maybe I'm thinking maybe if I switch to another bar and weight, maybe that maybe that might help. This is a stock bar and weight, so. It's probably not as bad shaking because these mirrors are a lot smaller 
and it wears the stock ones are huge but like I said the left one I can see pretty pretty good I can see behind me um, the right one I might just switch it out and just get like a uh, a brake protector a brake guard or whatever they call it and just run with one mirror since this is pretty much useless this right one I think that's what I'll do and hopefully me by hopefully by switching that I'll uh, might calm down some of the vibration in the handlebars I don't know we'll see about that but I don't know I mean the quality of that the mirrors are good they look good um, I had them on for a while I mean as some of you guys might have seen them in some of my previous videos but I decided to uh, I remember I showed showed how I installed them so I'm going to show you how they are over the stock ones if they're any better or worse as you see they're a lot better I can see so just the right one like I said I'll switch that out to a, a brake protector this is not working anyway and the guy is tight I got it on the same the same torque settings I put it on the same exact way it's just the right one is just not I don't know I don't know what makes the bike vibrate more on the right hand side than the left but um I hope you guys can hear me but that's all I got for you guys the uh moto gadget bar and mirrors please remember like share comment subscribe and I'll talk to y'all in the next one peace